Alright guys, see this lovely squash plant here? It's got squash right there. I don't know if you can see it right. Oh, there's my finger right there. Um, it was doing really good, but I noticed the leaves. See how they're wilting? So I did some research to figure out what was wrong. And I found something that said, um, I don't remember what it was, but I was curious if it was it. And it said that if you cut a stem, a milky substance will come out. Um, but I cut a stem, and look what I found. It is totally hollow. So that means a squash vine borer has been in my squash. They're eating the insides of the vine. So see, if I take any of these and cut them, see like this one, it's already starting to wilt. If I cut it, it is totally empty. Nothing there. And uh, that is not the way it should be. Let's see if I can find... See, here's a younger one. I don't know if it's already gone too. See that? I don't know if you can see that. That's not um, that one. See, it's not hollow in there. There should be flesh in there. So, vine borer is what I have, which I think I had this problem last year, but I didn't know what it was. And I actually planted squash and stuff in this bed. I only had two beds last year. Um, silly me, I should have planted this stuff in another bed. Um, I didn't know what the problem was and I'm just learning. So I'm going to dig up this plant and get rid of it, get rid of it, and hopefully it won't get the, that will get rid of the, um, the bugs and they won't get the rest of the stuff there. But next year I need to make sure not to plant any squash or cucumber or anything of that family in this bed because chances are I've already got some bugs, um, pupa and eggs and cocoons and all that in this soil. So I'll till it really good at the end of the year and like I said hopefully the rest of this will survive this season. Um, I'm not going to pull the rest out. I'll check my plants um, and I will come out every few days um, at least twice a week and make sure that I wipe down the vines um, to get any um, eggs off that might be there and hopefully I won't lose all of these plants but that's very sad but I can do a quick tour of the rest of the garden real quick I went through and I thinned out my green beans everywhere so there's still some green bean plants that I'll get another harvest or two from but I thinned them because they were just there were way too many and they were starting to block out the other ones but that's the point so I don't know if you can see down there um, Right there is the pile of all the ones that I picked, so the plants I picked out. So I'm going to go through there and pick out as many green beans as I can. And these, sorry, I had an alarm on my phone. But these are the tomatoes. Um, these tomatoes, anyway, doing good. I do have in this crazy spot, I have some basil growing. That pepper's not doing so hot. Um, I'm hoping still the water tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to make it. Um, the corn perked up. Good news for the corn. We only had two that didn't, and that's easy to stake, so they're doing really well again, which is so good. Um, my peas are still growing. You can see the beans growing over there. Um, potatoes are doing good. They're starting to flower. And I've got the Brussels sprouts are hanging in there. Um, the cabbage is hanging in there. Got another little cabbage over there. I'm gonna keep keep these sprayed from the bugs. Um, doing pretty good. Um, the tomato plant in the greenhouse is doing good. These are the melons. They're still growing. And some lettuce. Got two there. I'm probably gonna have to thin that. They kind of. I don't know why. I had like three come up all in the same place. Actually, it was more. It must have been more because I thinned it out already. But I don't think they'll grow that close very very well. And here's the basil. Got some basil there. That pepper is still trying. And these plants are doing really well. Um, I need to check them for what's called suckers. Let me see if I can find one. I'll show you. Sorry, I got the scissors stuck on my fingers. But if you see, I've tried to look. I haven't looked thoroughly. I've been training them. But 
haven't really seen any on these plants. But if you see, here's one. Okay. Well, it's not really, I don't think that is really one. Okay, yeah. Um, when you have a joint on a plant like this, see how you have that joint there? Sometimes, here's one, okay. See this? You've got this joint, and you have this one coming off here. It's called a sucker. You want to pick it because there's not going to be any fruit growing on this, and it's just taking energy out of the plant. So you want to pick those off um, to kind of give it, so that they're not giving energy on those sprout offs because they're not going to produce anything. So anyway, that's a trick that I learned from someone I know who has done lots of gardening. See, here's one right here. So I need to thoroughly go through all of these and pick those off. Um, and I've got lots of flowers on my tomatoes, so they're doing good. Here's some more basil. There's some more basil. We had some basil, fresh basil, and some homemade burgers I made today. Super yummy. And that's pretty much the garden for now. So yay, happy corn doing well. Boo, not happy about the uh, squash vine borer. But you know, this is all a learning process and I love being outside. Each year I'm learning more and more and um, hopefully over a few years I'll get the hang of this and at least I'll have a few things that I can grow, grow pretty well. So that is our garden for now. Okay, this is our first harvest. This squash is not quite ready, but I went ahead and picked it off of the squash plant that we had to get rid of. Um, I don't know if it'll be any good, but we'll see. Um, and then this is my first green bean harvest. It's a mosquito, sorry. Um, I'd say it's pretty good. You can see kind of how full that is. It goes all the way up to about right there and so that should be enough green beans to get us I don't know three four meals probably so we'll be eating a lot of green beans but that is our harvest and um, why don't I go ahead real quick and finally show you the straw here is the tomato Let's see yeah tomato in the greenhouse desperately needs water. It's getting dark so it's hard to see but here is our strawberry pot with the plants. Um, I think the birds might be eating our strawberries but here's one that's almost ready to pick. Probably tomorrow it'll be pickable. Hopefully the birds won't get it. We've got a bunch more coming out and all of these are going to be strawberries and these are going to be strawberries and you can see here's one here here's one coming so here's another one lots of strawberries yummy strawberries so that's exciting